Germany's center-left Social Democrats have narrowly claimed victory in the country's federal election. German election officials released results for the parliamentary elections, putting the Social Democrats ahead with over 25 percent of the vote. Chancellor Merkel's conservative bloc that has been in power since 2005 is in second place. That is the party's worst showing in its history. The stage is now set for tough negotiations to determine who will replace the outgoing chancellor. Many say the country and possibly all of Europe could be on the verge of a political change. CBS News's Chris Livesay has more from Berlin. After 16 years in office, Angela Merkel, a former research scientist and daughter of a Lutheran preacher, is finally saying Auf Wiedersehen as German chancellor. Lauded as a bulwark of Europe, helping save it from imploding during the 2009 debt crisis. Her secret? A stoic calm that didn't just influence German society, it defined it, says political scientist Frank Staus. So, so there is a lot of uh, common sense, if you want to, in, in the German public, and she uh, maybe even due to her. Her legacy spanned four presidencies, befriending some, clashing with former President Trump. As he retreated from international affairs, many looked to Angela Merkel as the new leader of the free world, says political analyst David Deisner. I think the Trump years made clear um, that the Western values do not necessarily only have to be represented by the United States. I think this is uh, why uh, many people said that she was really carrying the torch of Western values and freedom. Very While Trump wanted migrants out, I will build a great, great wall. Merkel opened Germany's doors to more than one million refugees, her shining moment, according to most Germans. That, it was a good thing, but then the question is how you de deal with it. Indeed, there was a backlash. On Merkel's watch, a far-right party entered parliament for the first time since World War II. And anti-migrant movements took hold across Europe. In Hungary, they erected a fence. Once Time Magazine's Person of the Year, she now leaves the reins of the most powerful country in Europe, as well as many of the tensions she sought to resolve. Now, the center left is narrowly ahead of Angela Merkel's center right bloc, but that is hardly a rebuke. Their candidate, Olaf Scholz, is Angela Merkel's own finance minister, who not only exudes the same sense of calm, he even uses some of her same hand gestures. Tanya? Chris Livesay, thank you. For more, I want to bring in Leela Ballant. She is an assistant professor of German at the University of California, Berkeley. She specializes in 20th and 21st century German literature, culture, and intellectual history. Professor Ballant, welcome. Great to have you with us. So this election sets the course not only our pleasure, not only for uh, Germany, but also influences the direction of the European Union. What could a post- Merkel era look like in Brussels? Yeah, that's a really good question. So it's a little bit early to speculate on that because uh, we don't know who the chancellor is going to be, right? Um, so we have most likely outcome will be that we either have a, a social democrat who is Olaf Scholz, or we may have Amin Laschet, uh, who is um, of the uh, Christian Democrat um, in the tradition of Angela Merkel. So. Both are um, committed to maintaining a strong European Union that is without a question in Germany. Um, now, the agenda may look slightly different for each one of them. Um, um, if um, Armin Laschet would be chancellor, that would probably mean for the EU pretty much a similar course as Angela Merkel, which was um, in, which was, uh, driven by stability. Um, and um, if you listen to sort of like the international news on this, or Fr France already sort of expressed um, preference for for a um, for a, um, um, a relatively um, uh, speedy formation of the German government is precisely because of the maintenance of that stability in in Europe. Um, now, Olaf Scholz, it's a little harder to predict uh, what will be driving the agenda there. Um, it, uh, it's, um, it depends also on the coalition formation with the Green Party, whether the Green Party, for instance, is um, really able to push through some of its way more 
um, um, progressive agenda about climate uh, po uh, climate policy, et cetera, and whether that would be um, also would actually have any kind of impact on on the EU, on the EU um, that actually whose climate policy is, is is way more conservative than what the German Green Party, for instance, would like to see. Mm. And Chancellor Merkel cemented her position as one of the world's most successful political leaders. How likely is it that Germany will still be able to lead on the world stage without her? She's she's such a towering figure. Yeah, absolutely. That's a, that's a difficult question. You know, it's 16 years of Merkel. The question is a little bit, um, who can fill those footsteps immediately? And, well, the, the, I think the answer is immediately that will not be possible. That is pretty clear. But, um, but when you think back, um, 16 years ago, Merkel didn't establish herself over one day either, right? So uh, we'll have to see how this plays out a little bit. Um, um, yeah, I think um, if if, the, so if, we, if, if uh, Germany will have a social democrat um, as a chancellor in, in in Olaf Scholz, then it's uh, it's probably going to be a little bit of a of a, a fresh breeze, a change after 16 years. Which I think um, I think that's sort of what the German voters voted for. The, the results are it may be a narrow win, but historically, when we look at it in comparison to 2017, then the longer story that longer story tells us the more clear story what the voters actually want so i think i think um i think um and we'll just have to see how that plays out on the world stage these 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 are processes that that um that um that take a little longer than uh, well yeah right we'll have to see and speaking of the world stage uh what does the outcome of this election mean for the u.s german relationship well, I think here we have to go back to the U.S. elections, uh, because I think across the political spectrum, I think there is a um, there is a kind of um, um, excitement about a the, the possibility of a different kind of U.S. Uh, European or U.S. German relations in the post-Trump era. So I think whether um, w whoever will be the next chancellor of Germany, I think there is general excitement about sort of the um, the, uh, the possibility of a very different U.S.-American, rela uh, um, U.S.-German uh, relations um, with lots mm -hmm. more collaborative um, um, effort and, uh, and uh, a different kind of political rhetoric. I think uh, that's sort of like uh, probably I would highlight that as a main difference. It will be a new era for sure. Well, Professor Leela Ballant, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your insight. Thank you for having me.